All right, at the top part of our card, we're going to put eight in the corner, and we are going to do linear regress in the calculator. We're going to find um well i don't want to say find line of best fit we're going to write a linear equation from the calculator All right, so this is a friendly reminder of how to do that, of how to do that in the calculator. Please make sure that you write that down. Let me pause. All right, so let's do a table. Let's do some table values. All right, so let's do these. Let's do negative two. And 13 is an ordered pair. Let's do 2 and 1. Let's do 4 and negative 5. And let's do one more point. Let's do 6 and negative 11. All right, so these are our table values. And we want to use the graphic calculator to write the equation. Please put the calculator in front of you, okay? We're going to clear the calculator. Remember, <coughs> how do you clear the graphic calculator? You second, second, plus seven, one, two. second plus seven, one, two. Very good. Second plus, yes, baby? Just get another one. It's, it's get another one. Uh, is there an calcul extra calculator on that one that he can use? Uh, on table two? Please go get one from table two or table six. Yes, babe. Same thing. Just pick up one from another table, please. All right. So now we are going to do the steps. So that's how you take that hat off. We're going to do the steps. We're going to write those out on what to do. The first thing we need to do is we need to type in the numbers. Type in list. To type in the list, what buttons do we press? Okay, somebody says second stat. Does that work? Second stat? Nope. You go to stat and then edit. Very good. So stat and then edit. So you got your stat button and then you press enter on edit, okay? All right, now this is where you type the, the numbers in. So let's do that now. Don't forget, for a negative, you're going to use the negative sign. Pause for the calls. So let's, you can press enter or you can press the down arrow to go to the next line. So I'm going to type in my X values first. Oops. Then I'm going to press the arrow over button to go to list two where I'm going to type in my Y values. Thank you. All right. So I have 13, 1, negative 5, and negative 11. Okay. All right. So I type the numbers in. You write this down? Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. So after I type these in, raise your hand if you need more time. Anybody? Okay, I'm going to pause real quickly. Come on. Pause. After we do that, what do we go next? We go to stat. We go to stat. And then Count what? Lean Count lean red. Count lean red. So we're going to go to, we got to go back to stat. Then we slide over to count. And then we choose number four lean red, right? Okay. After we press lean red, from here we can press enter and that'll give us the equation. You see it? And then in the calculator, your little screen, you should see in the corner, 
lean reg y equals a x plus b and it'll give you a value for a negative three and it'll give you a value for b which is seven so the slope of course is a for a linear equation and the b is the y-intercept so what you should get out of that is what how would you write the equation what is the equation going to be negative three x plus seven all right very good